What's up, I'm Brian, and in this video we're going to look into how to ragdoll our player character, which you can also do with player enemies if you like to, and it's pretty simple, but once you got the setup, then you can use it however you want to. Alright, let's get started. All these classes here already, and that's from a previous video that I was working on, so you're just going to go into maybe like your third person blueprints, find a folder, I'm going to right click, blueprint class, select character this time. And we'll do BP underscore, you call it base enemy, but I'm going to call it base enemy 2 because I already have a base enemy class in this project and I'm not trying to mess with that. So anyway, make sure you add a skeletal mesh. I'm using Manny, not Manny, the mannequin, SK mannequin. This is the old school one, um, probably down roughly 90 years or so. Animation blueprint should be Manny there we go and so animation blue prints off to the side over here and we got our SK mannequin for the mesh I think this will be good enough to work with let's place our enemy into the map he's over here I'm gonna hit play don't worry about the guy over there this is the enemy we're working with he's idling that's good that dude's trying to kill me anyway so in our base enemy 2 class in an event graph delete all these we're going to create a function. So in functions, hit the plus sign, go ragdoll. That's what we'll call it. Compile, save, slide over, and we'll get ready to create it. Okay, so now we're here. Let's grab our character movement component, and we're going to get our last update velocity. So this is kind of an extra step. I pulled it from the Lyra project, and it's an awesome idea because it'll get like your character's last velocity before they die and then add that to the ragdoll as like a full impulse force so it'll like give them a little bit of movement it's a nice touch but you can skip that for now if you want but just know it's a thing so anyways we're going to set collision profile name and we want to change that profile name to ragdoll not ragdoll ragdoll and so if you check out this capsule component and you scroll down to collision presets you'll see that ragdoll's down here so that's basically what we're doing is we're setting that to be ragdoll. Once we do that, we're going to drag a pin and say set all body, oh wait, bodies or bones? Bodies below. Simulate physics. Set all bodies below, simulate physics, boom. So this will simulate physics for all the bones below a body. We're gonna promote this bone name to a variable I usually take out spaces out of my variable names, but since this is a tutorial, like who cares? Uh, and here, write pelvis with a capital P. And if you're using this um, mesh, this will work. If you're using a different one, pelvis might not work. You need to check your mannequin or your mesh. You can double click here, go to the skeleton tree and make sure, oh, it's actually lower, lower case pelvis. So I'm guessing it doesn't care about case sensitivity. But if it doesn't work, then we can change that. All right, so now that we're here, make sure you do new simulate. We're gonna take this little velocity update and we're gonna add our little impulse. Add impulse to our character movement component, which we can drag from here. I don't know why it automatically did that. Anyway, and we'll say velocity change. Um, this isn't actually right. Hold on. Get it, drag from our mesh. We'll say add impulse and see what we can get from there. There we go. That looks more accurate. Mm, yeah. So drag that to there. Make sure we do a velocity change. And this is what we wanted was this bone name. And we'll do pelvis. Just because I did the other one capital P, I'm going to do this one capital P. And if it doesn't work, we'll know why. So this is the ragdoll function. We need to call it, and I should close all this out first. I'm gonna close all that out so you're kind of on the same page. In our third person blueprints, this is a third person template project, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. Uh, go into your player controller and create one of these pins. So if you type in like the number five, you'll have a keyboard event five. And that means when you press the keyboard five, something will happen. And we're gonna get all actors of class 
and what do we call it like base enemy I called mine base enemy 2 but pick whatever you named yours do a for each loop and this is strictly for testing like you don't want to do get all actors of class I've probably said that like every time I do this and call this function ragdoll so now when we press 5 it'll go through all of our enemies and it'll call the ragdoll function so now if we hit play look at this dude press 5 and he just ragdolls and that's pretty sweet so now if you're feeling crazy you can copy this dude press control c control v uh, control c control v select both of them copy paste I guess you can probably just press Control D actually to duplicate. That's easier. Control D to duplicate. Now we got an army of them. Hit play. Press five. Whoa, that was creepy. That was almost too similar. Very cool. And that's how you set up Ragdoll, courtesy of the Lyra project. I've got other videos you can check out. I'll add them in the links below. I also have assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I got a lot of AI stuff we're working on. There's a Noids template, which is like a top-down slash third-person 3D rim world slash pal world slave dudes. They're not slaves. They're happy to be working. And it's good if you want to check that out. I also got a magic symbol, riser, symbol recognizer, which you can like draw a symbol and then cast spells based on it on the Marketplace. They all save you tons of time. And yeah, if you've liked this video and it was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you got any other video questions you want me to make a tutorial on. I kind of just do this because it increases presence, I kind of enjoy it, I get to like learn things a little better, and yeah, having a good time doing it so far. Thanks, bye. Peace.